So I mentioned to the internet that I'm talking to you, and so the internet gave some questions. So I apologize for these, but uh, do you think we're living in a simulation? That the universe is a computer, or uh, the universe is a computation running on a computer? It's conceivable. What I don't buy is, you know, you'll have the argument that, well, if, let's say that it was the case that you can have simulations, then the simulated world would itself eventually get to a point where it's running simulations. Yes. And then the, the second layer down would create yeah. a third layer down and on and on and on. So probabilistically, you just throw a dart at one of those layers. We're probably in one of the simulated layers. Mm -hmm. I think if there's some sort of limitations on like the information processing of whatever the physical world is, like it quickly becomes the case that you have a limit to the layers that could exist there because like the resources necessary to simulate a universe like ours clearly is a lot just in terms of the yeah. number of bits at play. And so then you can ask, well, what's more plausible that there's an unbounded capacity of information processing in whatever the like highest up level universe is, or that there's some bound to that capacity, which then limits like the number of levels available how do you play some kind of probability distribution on like what the information capacity is? I have no idea, but I, I don't mean like people almost assume a certain uniform probability over all of those meta layers that could conceivably exist when it's, it's a little bit like a Pascal's wager on like, you're not giving a low enough prior to the mere existence of that infinite set of layers. Yeah, that's true. But it's also very difficult to contextualize the amount. So the amount of information processing power required to simulate like our universe seems like amazingly huge. But you can always raise two to the power of that. Yeah, and exactly. have, yeah. So, yeah. like numbers get big. Um, and so, we're easily humbled by basically everything around us. So it's very difficult to, uh, to kind of make sense of anything actually when you look up at the sky and look at the stars and the immensity of it all to make sense of us, the smallness of us, the unlikeliness of everything that's on this earth coming to be, then you could basically anything could be all, all laws of probability go out the window <laughs> to me because um, I guess because the amount of information under which we're operating is very low. We basically know nothing about the world around us, relatively speaking. Right. And so so the, when I think about the simulation hypothesis, I think it's just fun to think about it. <laughs> but it's also, I think there is a thought experiment kind of interesting to think of the power of computation, where there are the limits of a Turing machine, sort of the limits of our current computers. When you start to think about artificial intelligence, how far can we get with computers? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where the simulation hypothesis is useful to me as a thought experiment is, is the universe just the computer? Is it just a computation? Is all of this just a computation? And sort of the same kind of tools we apply to analyzing algorithms, can that be applied? You know, if we scale further and further and further, will the arbitrary power of those systems start to create some interesting aspects that we see in our universe? Or is something fundamentally different needs to be created? Well, it's interesting that in our universe, it's not arbitrarily large, the power that you can place limits on, for example, how many bits of information can be stored right. per unit area, right? Like all of the physical laws, you've got general relativity and like quantum coming together to give you a certain limit on how many bits you can store within a, a given range before it collapses into a black hole. Like the idea that there even exists such a limit is at the very least thought provoking when naively you might assume, oh, well, you know, technology could always get better and better. We could get cleverer and cleverer and you could just cram as much information as you want into like a small unit of space. Um, that makes me think it's at least plausible that whatever the highest level of existence is doesn't admit too many simulations or ones that are at the scale of complexity that we're looking at. Obviously, it's just as conceivable that they do and that there are many, but... Um, I, I guess what I'm channeling is the surprise that I felt upon learning that fact, that there are, that information is physical in this way.